fun action. All right, today I have four Fest Awards, but I'm gonna call you up one at a time. My first one is going to Brooklyn. Come on up, Brooklyn. Can you clap for Brooklyn? Woo -hoo! Yeah. Ready? Brooklyn is receiving this best award for the virtue of love. Brooklyn is a very caring little girl in our class, and she always makes sure everyone around her knows that she cares for them. Brooklyn is a very good friend to all of her classmates. She makes sure that nobody is left out, whether that is during recess or free time in the classroom. Thank you, Brooklyn, for sharing the love in your heart with all of your classmates and teachers. Woohoo! Give her a big round of applause, Good ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and now, could I have Tyne, please? Woo! Tyne! Good job, Miss Tyne. Tyne is receiving this best award for the virtue of love as well. One of the first things that Tyne tells us every morning as she gets to school is that she loves us. She has such a kind and caring personality. Tyne loves to be social with her classmates and other friends during recess. She often tells us all about her family members and pets, and you can just tell by her stories how much she loves everyone in her life. Thank you, Tyne, for sharing your love with us at school. Congratulations. I didn't have one. Could I have Richard? <laughs> what are the chances, buddy? <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> for the virtue of love. I don't think I've ever seen anyone love school as much as Richard does in all of my years of teaching. He loves every minute of kindergarten in the classroom and outside during recess. It is also pretty special to see how much his big sisters care about him at school. He tells his teachers daily that he loves us and it is pretty heartwarming. Thank you for sharing your love with us at school, Richard. Mm -hmm. Good job, buddy. Good job. One more. Bradley, come on up. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Good job, buddy. All right, you guys have probably noticed there's the theme of love this month. Mm -hmm. Bradley is receiving this best award for the virtue of love. Bradley is a very empathetic young man who really cares about everyone in his life. He is very empathetic to everyone around him and really wants to make sure everyone is feeling okay. He has really been trying to grow and develop friendships this year in kindergarten, and it's really great to see that he is making some good friends in his class. Thank you for your loving spirit, Bradley. Good work, little man. <laughs> Give it up one more time for our kindergarten our best award. award. It's going to Abby Bokum for. Woohoo, Abby! <laughs> So I'll hold it here so you can also see it, okay? Abby is receiving this best award for the virtues of fairness and compassion. Abby treats all of her classmates equally. She's a fair friend and always does the right thing. I appreciate how she genuinely cares about others, especially if someone is hurt or upset. She's a wonderful girl whom I truly love teaching. Congratulations, Abby. Give it up for Abby, guys. Good job. Our second grade one best award is going to Philly. <laughs> So Billy is receiving this best award for the virtue of determination. Billy is a diligent and hardworking student. He's working very hard at becoming a stronger writer. It is important to him that he uses his very best spelling when he is completing his work. He is truly becoming a grade one super speller. I'm very proud of the strong leader that he has become. Congratulations, Billy. Right on, Billy. Okay. And I'd like to call up Kaylee. Can you make it right? Yeah, go around. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Good job. Kaylee is receiving her best award for achievement during reading. Kaylee has made amazing progress since the beginning of the year. She's reading more difficult books and loves to talk about what she has read. She works very hard in class and will read quietly for long periods of time. She shows off her skills at home as she reads virtually to her grandma at night. Congratulations, Kaylee. Right on, Kaylee. Good work, time. And our last best award is going to steal. Woo! I get up here, buddy. <laughs> Come right over here, buddy, okay? Steel is receiving this best award for the wonderful way he tackles his assignments. He has a huge smile on his face and a positive attitude even when a task is difficult. Steele also loves to make his teachers smile and is telling us funny jokes and stories. I'm so proud of the positive role model you are in our grade one classroom. Congratulations, Steele. Good job, buddy. 
Our first best award goes to Hayden Bailey. Hayden, can you come up? Come on, buddy. Woohoo! Woo Great twos are being extra quiet because I asked them to right on. Yeah. <laughs> Take that down so you can see your pretty face. Hayden is receiving this best award for his hard work and happy attitude. Hayden is such a joyful, active member of our class. He likes to learn and enjoys reading, science, and math. Hayden can be counted on to have a story or a joke and is always happy to be at school. He goes full out and gives his all in class or outside at recess. He's a good friend to everyone and we're so happy to have him with us. Give it up for Hayden, guys. Give it up. Good work, buddy. Go no. have a seat, my man. Good work, buddy. Our second, our second best award goes to Jaden Cabeza. Oh, woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Squeezing him beside me. Go ahead. You're good. There we go. <laughs> Jaden is receiving this award for being a valued member of our class. She enters this, the class with a cheery smile and sparkly eyes every day. She is bright and helpful and always caring. Jaden is a great reader and likes to challenge herself. She approaches her schoolwork with a positive attitude and a happy outlook. Thanks for sharing your smile with us, Jaden. <laughs> Thanks so much. Big round of applause for Jaden, Busby. Good job, Jaden. Oh. Our first grade three Busby Award goes to Dylan! Woo Come on up here, buddy! Come on down! You're the first contestant. <laughs> on the February 17th Best Awards. Thank you, Esther. All right, Dylan is new to Busby School. He has worked so hard this year, and I'm so proud of all of his accomplishments. Dylan has worked very hard at controlling his emotions and has made huge strides in this area. He loves to read graphic novels and enjoys a good laugh. <laughs> Do you like to laugh? Dylan is reading with a lot of expression and I hear him adding voices to the characters in his books. Dylan has such a fantastic smile and we love when he flashes it. When you smile a little bit. <laughs> he loves to ask questions about the world and he is quick to share facts that he knows. We're so happy to have you at Busby Dylan. <laughs> Next we have Hadley. Welcome. Welcome to my beach. <laughs> Hadley is a bright light that shines when she enters the room. She has, <laughs> she has such a great sense of humor and a fantastic curiosity of the world. She loves to ask questions and share her own stories. Hadley always wants to do her, oh, sorry, Hadley works hard at everything she does. She takes every task seriously and always wants to do her best. She's a great friend to others and is always willing to help anyone. Hadley's facial expressions are one of my favorite things. I always know what she's thinking, and it definitely gives me some chuckles throughout the day. I'm so happy to have Hadley in my class this year. <laughs> Woohoo! Good job, Miss Hadley. <laughs> and our last contestant today, Lucas. Woo! Come on down to the beach, sir. Do you need some sunscreen? <laughs> Lucas is such a caring and responsible young man. He starts each day ready to learn. Lucas is a fantastic advocate for his learning and has really shown initiative this year. If Lucas misses a day, he is at my desk first thing in the morning when he returns asking for the things he's missed and immediately starts catching up. What a wonderful thing to see. Lucas enjoys sharing his experiences with the class and loves to build things. He is a good reader and enjoys books. Lucas makes great choices with his friends and is kind to everyone in our school. I love having you in my class, Lucas. Congratulations, buddy. Good job, grade three. All right, here is the grade four or five best awards. First, can I have up uh, Alex? Woohoo! Alex is receiving his best award for working extra hard in class and being very modest. I can trust Alex that if I sign work, that he will do it without being reminded, and if he needs help, he will quietly put up his hand and ask a question. He is quite quiet, but enjoys cracking jokes and saying his opinion on what we are talking about. Alex is very modest, like I had said. I've often commented, wow, you played that sport really well. Have you done it before? 
You say, not really. I think it's the croc power. <laughs> <laughs> you often teaching me about vehicles, too. I always joke that he's going to be my future mechanic, but I actually think it might be true. <laughs> Keep up the great work, Alex. Woohoo! Give it up. Good job, buddy. Next is Kaya. You can get through the obstacle yeah, course there, Kaya. Yeah, there you here. go. <laughs> Kaya is receiving her best award for working hard and being so nice. In math, we're working on division with remainders. She had missed a few days, few days, but she was quick to get to work on what she needed to catch up on, which is very responsible of her. She asked questions when she needed to and caught on very quickly. It is so fun talking with Kaya. She is very soft-spoken, but is so silly if you really know her. Her face always has a smile on it, which brightens up our room. Her friends are very appreciative that she includes everyone. Great work, Kaya. Whoop, whoop. Good job, Kaya. Next is Phelan. Uh, she's receiving this best award for participating more in class and being such a kind person. At the beginning of the year, Faylin was quite quiet and usually only shared our ideas when I called upon her. Now she's raising her hand and has lots to add to our conversation. One of my favorite things to hear from her is her theories about the book that we just finished, Holes. She is so animated that it's hard not to get excited about what she's thinking too. If you have gotten a chance to know Faylin, you will also realize what a kind person she is. If there is anyone that does not have a group, she will let them join her group or actively find another group for this person. Great Aww. work, Faye. Good job, sweetheart. And Ooh. next is Ayla. So Ayla is receiving her best award for working extra hard in class and having a positive attitude. In math, we're working on division of larger numbers, which can be very tricky. Ayla has a great attitude working towards it and is doing great at it. Despite her being in grade four and it being a grade five concept, she was one of the first students to pick up on it. She was even helping the people around her. Ayla also has a great attitude. I'm not sure if I've ever actually seen her in a bad mood. Well, unless maybe she's talking about her brother, I guess. <laughs> her positiveness makes our classroom such a happy place to be in. Great work, Ayla. Woohoo! Give it up for everybody! All right, the grade six best awards for February go to Chloe and Gerard. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! I love it. Look at those dancing, flipping around. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, Chloe is receiving this best award for always having a positive attitude. Chloe is the epitome of an optimist. It is too bad that we have to wear masks we can, because we cannot see your radiant smile during the day. She's excited to see all her friends in the morning, tell stories during snack, and share gossip during recess. Even during subjects she doesn't particularly enjoy, such as math, she gives her best effort and doesn't show discouragement if she is confused. Her questions of clarification are always encouraged. Great job, Chloe. Woo woo! Good job, good job. Good work, Chloe. All right, well first off, happy birthday, Gerard. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Gerard is receiving this best award for always giving his best effort. Gerard gives 100% at all he does. Starts off with his writing, where he is working hard to add extra details to his stories. In math, he pays extra attention to, to formulas and is sure to check that his calculations are correct. In PE, he scored an amazing header in wall-to-wall -wall soccer the other day and had the greatest celebration. Gerard is a Google slide whiz. During research projects, he enjoys all aspects, including the research portion, accumulating photos and adding spectacular transitions. He is known to make multiple versions of his projects to ensure he presents the very best. Great job, Jer. Give it up one more time, guys, for all the best awards. Thank you, Mr. Schaefer.